I'm gonna show you some of my water dunks. Yo, what's happening? Oh, lost. Up. Where are we? Blue Ball Park. Blue Ball Park. <laughs> it's That's... not just a figure of speech, as you can see over here. There is one, two, three blue balls. You too. We're getting a bite to eat, having some pizza. And um, we're going to ask all these guys um, one thing that's bad about the pandemic, one thing that's good about the pandemic. Okay, one thing that's been actually decent about the pandemic, yeah. and one thing that really sucks. Yeah. Can I say it first? Okay, no, 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 no. No, he gets to go first. He goes first. No, you throw in your two cents. What's happening? How are you feeling? Where are you right now? Santa Cruz. Now, what are we doing here? Eating, eating. <laughs> eating pizza. Okay, I like it. Simple answer. Okay, so go ahead. Um, so one thing that's good about the pandemic is I get like a lot of free time, so I can like I make broken ankles videos. I can make videos and we can um, I can like work on my basketball skills. Got I can it. do a lot of stuff. Got it. Lots of free time to pursue yeah. your own. But I'm not, one, but one bad thing. One bad thing. Um, I don't get to see my friends that often, right. and I don't get to see family that often. But we're seeing family now, so that's yeah. good. Alright John, one good thing about the pandemic. Not really any good things. No good things. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> right. Okay, keep it as simple today. Yeah. <laughs> Alright Sam. Um, one good thing is that I've been refining my culinary skills in the kitchen nice. with a YouTube, and one bad thing is I haven't been able to see my friends. Alright. <laughs> Pizza is baking. You put it in the oven. <laughs> okay, anyway. Hello. All right, Kika. All right. One good thing is I've been, been able to spend more time with my family. And then one bad thing is I bought tickets to go to Outside Lands Music Festival in San Francisco, and that got canceled. So that kind of sucked. <laughs> All right. Okay, one good thing is that I got to move in with these guys, which are always entertaining me. Um, and a bad thing is that I live like two hours away from all my friends and stuff. But yeah. Okay, Grandma. Uh, good thing I think is people in general are learning how to communicate differently and really value friendships and stuff. A uh, bad thing is just the virus and the threat to our lives. Boom. And being together is difficult. Well said. All right, so Boom, my Smith, job. That's Eric it. Going to Orange the Clan here at Woodstock's downtown Santa Cruz. Yeah, what about you? Let's film you. Let's do you. you. Okay. you do it. One good thing about the pandemic is that it forced everyone to pause in life and do some soul searching, figure out what's really important, what you want to try to do moving forward with your life, maybe things you don't want to focus on as much. So it kind of forced that on everybody, no matter how old. If you want to make videos, whatever you want to do. So that's been kind of a cool thing for everyone, I think. And one really bad thing is I would say that it has made things a little bit worse than they were in our country politically. And um, we have a lot of things to figure out as a country. And this has just made that worse and exacerbated, if you will, that issue. So that's not so great. But hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get there. So scientists say that there are more stars and more habitable planets than uh than sand grains on the beach and if you think about it if you pick up one big old clump of sand in your hands and you look at one individual grain and you kind of look out it kind of seems like there are millions and millions of grains of sand just in your hand and you don't really seem to think about it very much but once you take a step back and you even correlate it to the universe you can think how many planets and how many stars there are in the world. Nice. The You've got kind of like a Carl Sagan Jr. thing going on here. Yeah. How about you, John? I don't you think know. that's a, a viable theory? Sure. 
Sure. I don't know anything, so. Here we are at Rio Del Mar. Walking around. There is the famous half sunken boat down right here. What's your observation about me? You're the weirdest ice cream eater. In the world? How do I eat ice cream? <laughs> do I really do that? Yes. Roger, no. do I really do that? Yeah. Do you get a spoon? You turn the spoon around and then you you put too. your tongue out and then you just rub it around your tongue. Oh god. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Alright. That's what Lulu does. someday, Roger? Yeah. But I'll still make the NBA. Nice. You gotta set your goals high, right? And I'll also play D1, too. Good. Yosemite, and we're just looking at the beautiful view. Now we're going to keep on driving so we can go see what, John? I forgot. What's it called? El? I don't know. El yeah. Capitan. Right? Yep. And Half Dome. Where's mom? Hi, mom. Woo, look at that view. There's a waterfall. Look at these rocks, wow. How amazing. Hey guys, Broken Ankles here. And we just turned the corner and look what's here. El Capitan. Capitan. And it was, Capitan. it was um, the mountain the guy climbed in free solo. It's a great documentary that I recommend you should watch. Yes. And then look at that waterfall too. What's up guys? Hey, here. here we go. Broken ankles. Yosemite. Cruising the bike trail out by Half Dome. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. I'm cranking down this hill. One-handed. Hey everybody, Broken Ankles 
see it again. And look, just look over there. I remember uh, I went to vacation or something in Uruguay when I was younger. It was my favorite place. Look up over here by this lake. Oh, and look up there. El Capitan. Capi, 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 Capi. There it is, right there. It blows my mind just to think how somebody could actually climb up there with no ropes. Mm -hmm. Me and too. not die. One false move. Yes. One, One false, false move. move and splat. One false move and could be your last. Mm. That's rocking with you. I'm going to see if it's rocking. Hey guys, it's Broken Ankles here. And today uh, we are still at Yosemite National Park. Look Why at this. Whispering? Look at this beautiful view, guys. What is that behind your head? This is a half dome. Half dome. Yeah. Wow. Very beautiful. Yes, indeed. Look at that. What the cool. glacier. Was it worth a 16 mile drive to get up here? No. <laughs> <laughs> General Sherman tree. Coyotes. Yeah. The biggest tree on it. Um, it took about like two hours to get here. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> well, actually more than two hours because we had to wait in like traffic. Hopefully it's worth it. It's over here. Hopefully it's worth to see the biggest tree in the we'll, world. We'll get back with you when we see it. There it is. I'm gonna walk over there. Hopefully, well, I, I, I would say it's worth a two and a half hour drive. Really? Yeah. Well, if we get up closer, then we'll see. We'll see you guys down there, closer to the tree. Broken ankles here. We, we made it down here. General I, I, I would say What is this place? General Sherman. But what is it? Cap I forgot what it's called. Oh, Sequoia. But what makes it special, this tree? It's the it's oldest. Older than Jesus. It's the oldest and biggest. Biggest in the world? Yeah. Right. And the oldest. So it's no, like 3,000 years old, right? Is it the yeah. oldest? Yes. Well, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. There's probably one of these that might be old. Biggest tree in the world, folks. There it is. The General Sherman tree in all its glory. It's probably older Broken Eagles out for now. Nope, we're not out yet. Okay. That's going to be it for now. Broken Eagles out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Largest tree in the world. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's worth the drive. I recommend.